Konnichiwa, Giselda Bracas. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are watching at hindi pa nakapag-subscribe, kung gusto niyo po, welcome po kayo mag-subscribe again. Uh, welcome to my channel and uh, today, well today is um, Wednesday at uh, today happens to be my uh, my last appointment uh, for those of you who uh, does not know uh, for, for over a year na nagpapatingin ako to, to, uh, it started with my uh, problem with my vascular vascular, yung mga veins ko na nasa uh, left pa ako so I have been going here um, at least a minimum of once every three months at today, uh, good news dahil ito uh, papunta ako rito and I just actually completed this, my last um, appointment so okay daw uh, thank you Lord um, and I am blessed and I'm very very grateful um, well, ito yung hospital na, that I have been uh, going to it is uh, here in um, part 9 ng Yokohama at uh, napakagaling you know uh, Giselle Dapper Cuts gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo to dahil um, I took advantage I, I took advantage of my you know uh, the fact that um, I was gonna get seen here even before I started getting seen here uh, itong ikinomplain ko nga I, I took advantage of that and based on my experience I would say na I am glad I did because I'm telling you the process that I've been through uh, lahat no nakita ko na experience ko I would say at, um, ang mga Japanese uh, medical staff um, it's probably the best in the world right very uh, the best in the world kasi nakita ko how the services that they provided to me the way they take care of their their, um, their patient and everything like that very professional and napakaganda ng sistema nila uh, kaya I am, I am I am very grateful for uh, the fact that I took advantage of that while I was here while I'm here in Japan. So uh, well, eto nga at uh, so ko lang i ano sa inyo, uh, i brought ko sa inyo. Um, not too many of you know na um, through so many years in my life, a majority of my life, uh, medyo nakaroon ako ng phobia uh, going to hospitals or even getting checked and everything like that. Why is that? Well, um, the year during my senior year in high school, uh, na mga namin na uh, may cancer yung mother ko, and right there and then, uh, tinaningan siya agad na uh, three months. Um, well, they discovered a lot, um, and because of that, you know, uh, one thing I've learned from that is that ang mother ko ay uh, hindi niya declare na meron na pala siyang uh, nararamdaman sa katawan and by the time she finally got checked uh, they, they discovered so many things that have already uh, um, spread sa katawan niya I was very very young back then at uh, nakita ko how she tr struggled and the medical staff struggled nasa Hawaii kami ng time na yun at kasi, kasi po G. Saldabracats for those of you uh, na hindi nakakaalam halos doon na rin ako sa Hawaii nakapag-aral uh, dahil doon kami nag-migrate sa Hawaii uh, to go back doon sa situation ng mother ko um, uh, she, she was given an option uh, um, if she, she wanted to go uh, chemo um, it was in the early 90s so many of us really didn't know what chemo chemotherapy was uh, at least with myself I was very young uh, back then well she went through the process and uh, I, I saw uh, what, what it did to her what it did to her um, it, it basically you know killed her because um, uh, it, it, it went by re really quick and she started losing weight and everything like that but uh, lahat ng mga cause uh, ng, ng um, chemo I really don't want to go into details but nakita ko yun um, ang mother ko uh, she was a very uh, heavy set um, with thick hair and everything like that well she started losing her, her her weight very very quickly and she started she lost her her um her uh hair and at that time it was very very difficult for for all of us including myself of course um especially me actually because ako ang pinaka punso sa lahat ng magkakapatid so with that experience again uh when they when she gave um she was given three months to leave 
actually within three months uh Dabra cards uh it's very sad to to say uh, but she did pass away so um ang ano ko sa inyo uh, for those of you pag kami nararamdaman kayo na syempre na tayo pare-pareho lang nakakaedad um ang advice ko lang sa inyo ay uh, magpatingin kayo if uh, pag may nararamdaman kayo right wag na kayo maghintay take advantage and go see um, medical go to the hospital magpatingin na kayo agad kasi you never know what that could be di ba it's important na kasi syempre uh, tayo lang naman nararamdaman kung meron tayong nararamdaman na hindi ordinary ordinary uh, at pag is something that alam mo na kailangan mo nang patingin huwag ka nang magano huwag ka nang maghintay at uh, magpatingin ka na agad-agad um, whether whether ano si uh, throughout so many years di ba uh, marami din mga bagong sakit na dumalabas for instance etong ano nga pandemic until now many of us um, you know we're still we're still going through it and who knows we don't know when when this pandemic will actually end so well ito nga again ang advice ko sa inyo uh, pag may, may nararamdaman kayo o may nakita kayo sa katawan ninyo na which kayo lang naman may alam sa katawan ninyo magpatingin kayo uh, wag na kayo mag-aksaya kaya syempre masarap mabuhay sa mundo and of course um, it's not only us but miski pa paano uh, with us being here uh, nakakabigay tayo ng uh, Um, anything, happiness, uh, uh, mentorship, o kung ano man yun, uh, like with, with this, my, with this, my, in my channel, isa sa pinaka-goal ko dito, bakit ko ginagawa to, is, is because of what I'm doing today, uh, sharing my experiences, um, and little advices, guidance, mentorship, what have you, uh, para sa akin, uh, there's not a better better thing to than, than to be able to provide those those kind of things right um, but anyway you sell double cards I uh, hope you are all doing well once again advice ko lang if it happens to a point hopefully everybody's are healthy right everybody are healthy but if it happens na may nararamdaman kayo in any part of your body wag na kayo mag hesitate or take time or even uh, mag double thinking um, take the advantage quickly go see um, go to the hospital report to the hospital and, and get checked all right you saw that guys well I'm, I'm gonna show you uh, really quick one uh, first floor dito sa hospital na to. once again I am very very fortunate and very grateful na experience ko ang system nila dito medical system nila dito sa Japan and I can bragly say na isa to sa pinaka pinaka the best talaga dito sa Japan. Okay? Alright, just other guys. Tara. Let, uh, uh, let's, let's go see yung itong first floor ng uh, hospital na to. Okay? Let's go. Okay. 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 Dito sila nag uh, ba blood drawn. Napakaganda ng sistema nila. Pero ngayon, ito lang pakikita ko sa inyo muna. First floor lang.
Ito yung Gisel Debrakas, may ano sila dito, restaurant at may barber shop. Sabi mo, pagkain na dito may ramen sila. Ito yung barber shop sila. Tapos, may cafe din sila dito. Pastries, coffee. Mga ah, gano'n. Marienda. So, kung kukuha ka ng uh, pastry mo, yan. and a tray. That's where you put your stuff. Kukuha ka ng tubig or tea. Water station. Pindutin mo lang yan. As kung bibili ka ng mga menu na pinakita ko sa inyo earlier, dito ka na bibili. Garam siya. Lalabas yung ticket dyan yan ang machine lahat dito halos machine tapos dito may parang 7-11 sila dito yun ang kailangan ka malit na tindahan lang mga kapi sila dito cold and hot pag may red ng ganyan, ibig sabihin hot hot yan mga yan hot coffee, hot drinks tapos dito may may babang klase silang mga noodles dito naman mga Desserts. Sandwiches. Wala masyadong variety ngayon. Siguro ubos na dahil katatapos na ng lunch. At mga bento. Bento yan, mga bento. Dito may ice cream sila. Alrighty, so that's about us. Hopefully you enjoy my channel. So, ito. So, very convenient. Lahat ng mga kailangan mo naman ay nandirito. Pwede ka na rin pag-upit. Parang pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. So, ito. Palabas na tayo. Ayan. Barbershop nila. Sulipin natin yung konti. Oh, 
Pala pa sa tayo, so Pinakita ko na sa inyo yung first floor na Itong hospital na to Well, just at the broadcast, lumabas tayo ng konti uh, Kasi uh, I wanted to show you Anong labas dito ng, ng hospital So, yan yung actually uh, Yung actual hospital nya Ito dito And uh Right next to it, di ba? So, doon kami nang galing. Itong highway na ito, Gisada Barkas, ay Highway 16. Ito ang isa sa uh, pinaka-main highway dito sa Tokyo area. So, from here, you can go all the way to Tokyo, right? And all over Tokyo. So, itong highway na ito goes all over the place. Um, itong highway na ito, maraming mga stoplight. Um, but, on the other hand, hindi mo na kailangan mag... Hindi mo na kailangan mag... Uh, ano, to toll. Dahil yung mga toll, sa mga expressway dito sa Japan ay uh, marami mga toll tickets which uh, can cost you mga 1,000 yen. 1,000 yen average sa every uh, toll ticket. Depends on uh, what area you are in Tokyo. So it's very expensive here in uh, in, in Tokyo um, for those of you who are not familiar. But again, I'm, I'm showing you isa to sa uh, ano, tawag dito, uh, main highway, Highway 16. So nanggaling kami dyan, right? So since we were coming here, we actually turned right. All right, uh, this way going to Yokosuka. If you're going this way, if you go, if you follow this all the way here, this will take you to uh, Tokyo, Yokohama, then Tokyo. Okay. So again, ang galing kami dito, from Yokosuka, at kumanan kami Highway 16. Again, Minami Kyosai Hospital. Right, kumanan kami dito. Dahil yan ang hospital ko, yan sa kaliwa. The hospital that I've been going through for the past a year. A little over a year now. Yan ang mga taxi, yan ang mga sample taxi sa Japan, di sa Dabrakas. So nagdakad lang ako. Normally may service naman na kami, uh, government van. Uh, na ano, tapos may Japanese uh, representative liaison na, na, na nakatira sa loob ng base but uh, I wanted to show you this so ito yung hospital na that I've been going through and I wanted to share to you my experience here Very convenient kasi uh, if you uh, drive here as well, uh, may mga parkingan as you see. Diba? And uh, tingnan nyo, napaka-convenient, right? May mga establishment dito as well as mga katabi lang siya ng mga neighbors, mga bahay-bahay ba dito sa neighborhood. Uh, well, this will conclude my vlog for today. Hopefully, na enjoy nyo and uh, hopefully, nakapagbigay ako ng konting konting uh, advice or mentorship sa, sa inyo. Um, once again, uh, it's my privilege na, na may share ko sa inyo ang experience ko dito, uh, yung mga appointments ko, and everything like that. And I am so thankful, I am so blessed uh, na today was my final appointment, and my appointment actually. Uh, I received the great news na okay na daw ako lahat and now I am cleared and uh, don't have to come back here. But again, my experience here had been grateful because um, dito ko na-discover based on my experience na napakagalik pala ng mga medical uh, process, medical uh, staff, um, uh, everything overall. Um, it, it's just so great and I'm, I am just so glad na I was able to take advantage of that while I'm here in Japan. Um, once again, this will conclude my uh, vlog for today. Um, if you have not uh, no, uh, subscribed to the channel, ko, please do so. But um, nevertheless, again, uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, and we'll see you again on my next vlog. All right? All right, Jesus Davarkas. Have a good one. Take care of yourselves. All right? God bless. Arigatou gozaimasu.